Hello Gemini, it's Meredith. I'm here with your monthly reading for January 2019. Happy New Year. Uh, make sure you tune in and watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus videos so you get the full picture of what's going on in the month of January for you. Uh, we're having a bit of a tarot oracle card buffet. We're using... Um, Astrology Answers, Master Tarot Deck, and Doreen Virtue's Romance Oracle Cards, Angel Answer Cards, and then Fortune Reading Cards from Sharina Starr. Okay, there's all that. Let's get started and see what's going on in January for you, Gemini. Card from the bottom of the deck, your theme of the month. Ooh, Two of Cups, look at you. Beloved Relationship. Um successful partnerships excellent so this is this is a mutually beneficial and reciprocal relationship whether that's in romance or how you are of service what you do for your work your career a project you're starting with someone or several someone's um, so there's harmony there that's great let's take a look at your first card hanged man Prayer, meditation, and enlightenment. This is looking at life from a different perspective. This makes sense, perfect sense. Um, beginning of the year, we often do an assessment. As 2018 closes out, 2019 begins. Uh, everybody jumps on that bandwagon of setting intentions and... Um, no, not intentions. Resolutions. Um, I always sort of laugh at that. <laughs> you know, why is January different than any other month? Um, I would lean more into setting intentions for manifestation for myself. Um, but I guess fresh year, fresh perspective, right? And certainly the hanged man is all about a different perspective. Um, let's see what he connects to. Ooh, four of pentacles. That's interesting. Okay, fours are very stable. Pentacles are about uh, prosperity, finances, resources. Um, but in the four, in this suit, you have someone hoarding, <laughs> hanging on. Now, if this were the four of cups, I would say that they're emotionally guarded but I do feel that energy here. This is not sharing something. Because it's sitting right next to the hanged man, Gemini, this is you keeping a very tight, closed self counsel. So, um, and somehow resources are related to it for you. Something about property and finances here. Tied to your emotions in your relationships. Okay, let's delve deeper and see what that's connected to. Five of Pentacles. So we have the four and the five. So there's progression here, but the message is all about self protection. You start out with the Two of Cups. So perhaps this is something that you're work, working on within your own self, trying to loosen up, <clears throat> excuse me, and how you share. Because over here we have you not sharing at all and feeling as though you don't have anything to share on the five. I'm sensing here um, past experience influencing the now. And... For some reason, it feels as though your perception at the moment is it's not safe to share. Because you've been left out in the cold before. And you're not wanting to repeat that. And perhaps you're not certain at this time that you've done all the healing work necessary to make sure that this Five of Pentacles doesn't repeat. So you're keeping everything close to the chest, close to the vest, we'll say. So I'm sensing here in your heart space, Two of Cups, that you're, you know, wide open to receiving. 
though you appear to be somewhat closed or restricted in terms of giving. Let's see what else is here, the chariot. So we have dynamic movement forward, two major arcana cards here. Prayer meditation and enlightenment for dy dynamic movement forward. And yet you have this sense of, I'm not moving forward until things seem to improve on my landscape, <laughs> on my horizon. What's interesting about the five Gemini is that sanctuary is close at hand, though you're not seeing it. So somehow you're guarded uh, in resistance or feeling tight about what you have to offer. Though you desire dynamic movement forward and you have a lot of prayer, meditation, and enlightenment around that, this tells me you have a good vision for where you'd like to go, but you're sensing that the environment is not supportive because you're potentially uncertain about your own healing journey at this point. And the cards are telling us here that uh, the very thing you seek is staring you right in the face and you're just not seeing it right now. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, hey, there it is, Four of Cups. I did mention that. And it's underneath the Four of Pentacles. So this is definitely emotional. And here we have the cosmic gift of, the, of this cup. Meanwhile, you're staring at the three prior gifts, three prior experiences, and relating them to a Five of Pentacles experience of being left out in the cold, being abandoned, <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and uh, my guides are saying left with nothing. So you're holding on until you deem it is safe to move forward, even though you desire forward movement. And it's right in front of you. The opportunity is in front of you, but you're not taking the leap of faith right now. The Four of Cups is a very emotional card. And it does speak to a bit of heartbreak and the desire to hmm, make sure things are safe before you proceed. The trick with that is, though, that you could sit here forever looking for safety. <laughs> and um, not the desire to, to not repeat what's on this five here is huge. You could sit in this state for, you know, forever. <laughs> so my sense is that, Gemini, you know all this, and you're also um, listening to my guides now. They're interrupting me. You have the necessary enlightenment, and I'm going to switch it up here. I know I said that it it appears as if you don't see what's right in front of you. I sense perhaps you do, but you're still holding fast to self-protection. So the very thing you seek is in front of you, Two of Cups, and Four of Cups in the sense that you're receiving this divine and cosmic gift. <clears throat> You've prayed for dynamic movement forward, And I sense you're watching yourself be in protection mode. Okay, let's see what your next card is. Mm, Six of Cups. Fantastic card. Um, this, is, this is rekindled relationship. This is someone from your past coming into the now. This is a soulmate connection. Oh, okay. So... Gemini, quite a few of you out there have reconnected with someone from your past. And this person, this is someone that you love. Two of Cups again. This is rekindling that relationship and you're feeling tentative. Now, take this wherever you need to, Gemini, whether it's on the work front, in the family, you know, arena, or in beloved relationship. So, okay, you're feeling some old uh, energy stir, but you're also looking at how 
that experience or that relationship came to an end or caused separation and you're keeping your thoughts and feelings close to your heart space because you do not want to repeat of the prior experience. Hmm. Hmm. So you've prayed for this, you've intended for it, you've meditated on it, you've sought enlightenment for it, and you're in the process of receiving it and witnessing yourself feel uncertain about the movement forward because that five of pentacles was so profound for you. So it's interesting. <laughs> If you look at the Four of Pentacles, here you are hanging on for dear life, like, ooh, resist, 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 because I'm not sure, I just can't tell. And then over here, it's like, here's your cosmic gift, here's what you asked for. <laughs> so while you've, um, on this four, you're holding on to something, and on this four, you're not holding on to anything but yourself. So you've got yourself on a bit of a tight leash here. Hmm. Okay, that makes a lot more sense, having turned over the Six of Cups. I'm sorry I'm a bit all over the place with this, but um, I'm sensing, Gemini, you're a bit all over the place with your own self in this arena. Okay, so let me summarize this. You're rekindling something in your life, whether it's a project, something in your career, how you are of service, a partnership, or it's a beloved relationship. Um, you desired this for quite a while, this rekindling. But in the span of life experience, while you were apart from the project, the family member, or the beloved relationship, whatever it is, you did do a lot of inner spiritual journey work, hanged man. You looked at things from all perspectives. And you never lost your love for the person, the job, the family member. That never went away for you. It seems like it was on pause for a while. There's still a lingering hurt there. This is not being fully healed over here on this five. Though you desire the sanctuary of that connection, there are aspects of it that you are still considering or have yet to consider. As a result, you're keeping your feelings close to your own heart space, all the while desiring the gift of this reconnection, Six of Cups, and here it is. It's before you, but your arms are not open to receiving, even though the universe is delivering. So that's amazing. You're in a bit of tug of war with yourself, Gemini. My sense is you're going to sort it this month, though. That's why this is all here. This is why we've started with Hanged Man. Because you're in deep contemplation with your own self. And that's, that's perfect. Keep that up. All right, let's take a look at your Romance Angel cards and see if they can shed some more light on this. <laughs> and of course they can. Your first card, Love Yourself First. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And you know what? It makes you more willing to explore all of your relationships. So there's the key to the healing. It's, it's loving yourself first. And as you do that, all the other relationships improve. Oh, next. It is safe for you to love. This card tells me... You're not going to have a repeat performance of what went, whatever went on in this partnership, family relationship, or beloved relationship. Because you've been doing this, you know, you've been in hanged man position for a span of experience, of life experience. You've learned a lot from it. And my sense is you saw your part in it and you've taken steps to avoid repeating that. So... You can loosen up a little bit here on this four. You can let go a bit. You can allow this gift that's before you to flow in. And in doing that and in loving yourself first, it'll heal these other things that went on here and here. Okay. 
So it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah. You're you're good at the receiving part right now. It's the giving part. <laughs> there needs to be some equilibrium and harmony there. But you're working on it. And that's beautiful. No pressure, Gemini. And, oh, look at this. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, well... We could have just done the Romance Oracle cards, couldn't we? But the Tarot cards reveal the process, so that's beautiful. Let's take a look at Angel Answers for you. This is your opportunity to ask a question. While I was shuffling, I asked for the most appropriate cards for Gemini's questions. Fantastic. <laughs> Romance. Self-explanatory. Two of Cups. Trust. Yeah, trust this process. It's shaping up far different than uh, whatever it was that brought it to the Five of Pentacles state. This rekindling is, is powerful. It's what you prayed for. It's in the frequency you desire to exist in. So the cards are saying, keep doing the work that you're doing because you're going to create, create the outcome you're desiring. And look at that. Big happy changes. Doesn't get much better than that. All right. Then in summary, I chose, um, well, shuffled until they fell out, the fortune reading cards. To summarize the reading for you, your first card, look at you. The sun, open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. So there's more than one message here, like three messages here about opening your heart space. <laughs> then you have snake. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. Yeah, the be careful is you being a little overly cautious on that for, you know, when you're in the flow of love, what, what card was it over here? This one. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. If you're operating in the highest energy of all, what is there to be careful of? It's a great question to ask yourself. Last card, Gemini. Star. Hard times are over. Oh, nice. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. There it is. Happy January. <laughs> I love your reading. It really does show a journey for you. And best wishes on it. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe here on the channel. Deeply appreciated by me. And if you'd like a personal reading, description box. All the info you need is there. And don't forget to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus videos. Bye for now, Gemini.